Yo! Tom Fitzy here with my review of Loki Episode 1. We're back on the Disney Plus Marvel series with the third live action series. A little bit of a rundown of my thoughts before watching the first episode. When they were all first announced in the first batch, I was like, Loki? Really? They're just like picking any character and just making the TV series. But I was like, I don't know how this is going to work. Like, how are they going to, you know, he, they killed him off. And obviously, you know, then found out that he lived. It's like, I don't know. And then they were like, it's Loki throughout time in history. And I was like, is that going to be good? I mean, like, I, in my head, I was like, imagine, imagining Loki is like, he's like Julius Caesar. And then he's like a, a Pharaoh or something like that. I was like, mm, I don't know. But then as we got more into it, we started getting the trailers and we started finding out that he's going to be like working for like a time bureau and stuff. And like it's going to start delving into multiverse and stuff. I was like, OK. And then, yeah, the first few trailers, I was on board. So it then became one of my most hyped shows. And did it live up to the hype? Well, the first episode did because I really enjoyed it. In fact, I think it was the strongest opener out of all three series. Even though it wasn't like a big episode, it wasn't like a big flashy episode. It was like definitely kind of in the middle between uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision. WandaVision's opener was like very different and like serious and, uh, you know, a lot more like talking and exposition. Whereas the Falcon and the Winter Soldier opener was a lot more explosions and action uh, and stuff like that. This one kind of fit in the middle and it had the seriousness and it had the talking but it was done in such an interesting way. You know, the best part of this episode was when it was just Loki and Mobius just sitting in the room and Loki was just being interrogated and they were talking. It kind of became like a little bit of a Loki clip show in a way. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay. Is this where it... Like, I know the character. Uh, but the way it was done, the way... Mobius was breaking down Loki's character, breaking him, trying to get Loki to admit who he is. It was just so cool to watch. Like, Owen Wilson and Tom Hiddleston were just, you know, it, they were, like, made to uh, be sitting in this room talking. Like, it was so... They were so good together. They were just bouncing off of each other. I love, like, the different dynamics. They're both, like, super powerful people. You know, they're both very observant, both very smart people. Uh... And, you know, they, they uh, kind of, you know, take like, pride in like their abilities and stuff. But uh, they, they come from slightly different uh, backgrounds. And, you know, they're different enough where it's really cool. But they're similar enough where it's really cool. And uh, it was just a joy to watch, you know. And whenever we cut away, I was like, I oh, know, getting back to that room. In fact, part of me was just like, I wish the whole series was just them two talking in a room. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing more of their, like, uh, double act going forward. Mobius is already a very interesting character because, you know, he's letting Loki speak his mind and stuff and he's clearly doing things differently. And uh, I wonder how he's going to play into this all at the end, you know? Uh, the whole system is really interesting, like, where they work. Uh, the fact that it, they're protecting the one singular timeline and that if multiple timelines do branch off, then that can inevitably lead to war, which I think, you know, is uh, probably a big hint as to where the MCU is going. You know, what's the next uh, thing going to be? Multi multiple universe wars, bring that on. Um, Avengers versus the Fox X-Men. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's given us a direction now for the MCU. And it's going to explain why Multiverse of Madness, why Wanda going through all of like, the multiverse and everything is going to be such a bad thing, you know? Because it, it's going to mess up with, mess with these super powerful beings and it is going to mess with the timeline and it's going to cause rips that could lead to war that, and, you know, different people are going to rise up. Uh, and that was really cool. And what I like as well, I mean, I didn't quite like it, but... What, what I do like is that you saw the Infinity Stones in it and they just have them everywhere. And in the, and in this place, Infinity Stones mean nothing. That's how powerful, you know, these people are and this thing is. And it, like, you look at it and, and it makes Thanos seem like nothing. Because they're using the Infinity Stones as a paperweight and they can nullify their powers. And it's just like, 
well, now we definitely know that after Thanos, things are going to get bad, you know. How are you going to top Thanos? How about creatures that don't even, don't even acknowledge Infinity Stones, you know. Think of them as nothing more than pretty jewels. And uh, these, are the kind of, these are the kind of level of godlike creatures uh, that we're going to be getting into now. And uh, it's actually quite exciting. It was a little bit, though, it was because I just like finished re-watching Infinity War stuff. It was a little bit like... Oh, don't play off the Infinity Stones now. It's just like a little bit of a joke, but it was is a good example of showing that gap. You know, showing the difference between between Thanos and some of the other powers that are out there in the world. So I thought that was really really cool, um, and yeah, I'm 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 excited by this series. Uh, not really sure how it's gonna be when we do get into the like uh, hunting down the variants thing. I love it when they're in that church. And Owen Wilson's character Mobius is like, who did this? The little girl points to uh, a devil, like a stained glass devil. And I was like, here we go, Mephisto. Everyone's going to start speculating Mephisto again. But had the horns. So obviously Loki has had the horns. Loki is Mephisto. Variant Loki is Mephisto. Mephisto. Oh, how do you you pronounce it? Mephisto. Um, So yeah, Uh, Loki, strong start. Um, really enjoyed it. It's one of those episodes where I finished watching it and I want to watch it again. Um, and yeah, Mobius has really quickly become one of my, one of my favourite characters. He's just so good. Well done, Owen Wilson. You nailed it this episode. I'm excited to see more of you. Uh, I'm excited to see more of Loki, uh, because his character got some big development in this episode. Uh, we really got to the kind of the core of Loki and, uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be have to wait long to see that good Loki return. And it's generally interesting. So, uh, Loki, great start. 